Hi, I'm Dawn Morse, the founder of Core Elements Training, um, which delivers level 3, level 4 and level 5 sports massage and sports therapy training courses. I'm Katie Campbell, I'm a lecturer for Core Elements Training. In this series of videos we're going to be looking at the examination assessment for the peripheral joints, focusing on range of movement, ligament testing and muscle testing. In this video we're going to look at the examination and assessment of the hip joint focusing on range of movement and muscle testing. Put the line your back please. Mm -hmm. So we're going to do active, passive and resisted movements of flexion of the hip. So your actual climb is bring their knee up to their chest, flexing their hip. And lower back down. So actively the client performs the movement. Passively, we ask the client to get into their end of range, flexing the hip, supporting at the knee, from just above the ankle, flex the hip a little bit further, and relax. The resisted movement, we go through again, the active movement, the client moves their hip, therapist relax, asks the client to relax, pushes the movement further, the resisted movement, we ask the client to push away, bringing their knee away from them, trying to extend the hip and relax. That was flexion, we're going to go through internal and external rotation. So we want the client to be 90 degrees flexed at the hip or in tabletop position. You can guide them, so we want to imagine there's a pole going all the way through from the kneecap to the hip through the femur. So you can hold the knee here, just ask your client to bring their foot inwards, externally rotating the femur. And relax. For the passive, again, you ask them to perform the movement themselves, to support at the ankle, support at the knee, and just very gently rotate further, increasing the range of movement. For the resisted, Go through, steps one and two again. Ask the client to relax, take a little bit further. Then we ask the client to try and resist and bring the foot back towards you. Holding for three and relax. That was external rotation. This is internal rotation. The foot moves out towards you. So again, support the knee to avoid too much movement. Ask the client to just bring the foot out towards yourself and relax. Passive movement, we ask the client to internally rotate. Again, support under the ankle by the Achilles, supporting at the knee, and just further increase the movement, feeling for the end range and relax. The resisted movement, do exactly the same. So the client brings their foot out, internally rotating at the hip. Therapist asks the client to relax, bring the foot towards them. Then we ask the client to bring their foot in towards their midline, to bring their foot back, matching the therapist's resistance. And relax. That was internal and external rotation. We can then do abduction and abduction. For this, we need to add to the body for adduction. So we need to move one leg out of the way. So they can rest it off the couch. You can put a stool there if required as well. So ask your client, just move their leg as far inwards as possible. Okay. Support at the hip to avoid the rotation. So this is adduction actively. Okay. The passive movement therapist then helps. So the client moves their foot back into their midline as far as they can. And the lower leg, supporting at the hip, you just push movement a little bit further, trying to stay at the same level as the couch and relax. Then for the resisted, repeat the steps, do it actively, always supporting at the hip. Therapist push it a little bit further. And then you ask the client to push back against you, bringing their leg towards you. And you just hold that, making sure 
that you stay at the level of the couch and just relax. I'm going to come around here for the abduction. So here we're taking the leg away from the body. There can be trick movements with this one. So you need to make sure the toe is always pointing upwards to avoid the internal and external rotation of the hip. And you ask your client to stay on the same level as the couch. So if you bring your leg out away from the other leg. Okay. And you can always guide with this one as well. So that's the active movement. And then passively, you need to get them to the end, their end of range actively. Guide them so they know where the height of the couch is. Keeping the toes pointed upwards, they relax their leg and you're just going to bring the leg a little bit further outwards, increasing the movement. For the resisted movement, want them to resist against us at their end of range. So actively they bring their leg out again. Just guiding to the, so they stay on the height of the couch. Ask them to relax, increase the movement slightly. Then you ask them to match your resistance and they're just pushing against you, trying to bring their leg to meet the other leg. You're holding there for three and relax. If there's a lot of rotation of the hip, you can always support there as well. So we're going to do extension. So this involves just asking the client to turn over. So we're an extension of the hip. So all we ask the client to do is lift their leg off of the couch. And we can support at the lower back. So again, just to avoid any rotation. And relax. We don't want the pelvis to rotate too much. So that was the active movement. Passively, we ask them to raise their leg again. Support just above the knee, and you're just going to hold their leg and bring it up slightly further, feeling the end of range. And relax. For the resisted movement, again, repeat the two steps. Remember, you'd be comparing left to right. Good to bad, bring the leg up, support just under the knee, hold their leg so they feel secure, ask the client to relax, bring them up, extend the hip a little bit further, then ask the client to push their leg back down on the couch, matching your resistance, and relax. Don't be afraid to perform the movement again if they move too quickly for you. You can always repeat the test a couple of times. So now we're going to move on to the muscle testing. As the client's already lay, lying on their front, we can test the glutes and the hamstrings. So glute testing, we bend the knee at 90 degrees and they lift their leg up off the couch up to the ceiling and you're just trying to stop it. So if you let their knee lift slightly off, try and lift further and just pushing down on their bottom of their foot pushing down to the couch. You can support the lower back, you can support the hamstring and relax. For the hamstrings, we need some knee flexion and some hip extension. So we ask them to lift their leg up again. You're pushing, supporting at the hamstrings and you ask the client to bend their knee. So you're pushing down on the soleus gastronemius and again on the hamstrings. So you're trying to resist the movement and relax. You ask your client to flip over again. So if you can lie on your back, please. So we can test in the rectus femoris mm -hmm. and the quadriceps. So you ask your client to shuffle over to you so the hip is it at the end of the couch? You can stand hip to hip to support your client so they don't feel vulnerable. So here we want a little bit of hip extension and knee flexion. So the client is going to flex their hips, they're going to bring their knee up to the ceiling. You're going to resist this movement and they're just trying to keep their leg out or extend their knee. And again, you're going to resist this movement. So my hands are on the quadriceps and the tibia, they're about that position on the tibia and on the quadriceps. So around the hip, we will test the adductors as well. 
So just bend your knees together and shuffle back into the middle of the couch. Ask the client to have their heels together. So for the adductor brevis, we try and isolate this by using a width of about a fist or three inches. We just ask your client to squeeze their knees together for about three seconds and relax. And then for the adductor longus, we use about two fists width. And again, just between the knees, we ask your client to squeeze together again. If it's more comfortable, you can get, you can judge the distance and you can just hold both knees. They're squeezing in, you're just trying to push out, stopping them from squeezing their knees together. For adductor magnus, it's about four arms width. If the elbow is a little bit too bony on the inside, again, you can just use the hands to support. You just ask your client again to squeeze the knees together with their heels together as well and relax. For modesty purposes, it's always nice to stand next to your client facing downwards. So it's the hamstrings, rectus femoris, and we can look at the quadriceps as well. So here we ask the client to sit on the edge of the couch with their legs off. So here we do we perform this test one leg at a time. It's a strong muscle group. So we just put them slightly into knee flexion and we ask the client just to try and kick out but match our resistance. Often they can move very quickly, so just don't be afraid to repeat the test. And again, they're kicking out, we are resisting the movement. If there's some trick movements or the, the client's using the couch for more support, you can just ask the client to pop their hands in their lap and ask the client again just to kick outwards and here, try and get the true quadricep movement.